Hi, everyone. Welcome to our show. I'm Tiffany, and this is Sam. All right, so Sam, I want to know what your、um, daily life or your daily schedule is kind of like. Like, what time do you wake up in the mornings? What time do you、okay. go to sleep? So normally, I wake up at six、uh, thirty. Uh huh. Something around six thirty, and then I will take shower. I will have my breakfast, and then I go to work. And、uh, I normally get off work at、uh, something around six thirty. Okay. Also in the afternoon, and I went home, and、uh, normally I go to bed at something around eleven. Okay, actually, it's quite healthy. It's not、yes. too bad. No, <laughs>、uh, it's not too bad.、Yeah. Okay, so do you think that you are a morning person? Like, do you and do, are you okay with waking up in the mornings, or do you have、um, what we call you know a bad temper when you wake up? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. More like a morning kind of guy. Okay, yeah, that's good then. I woke up、then. easy, and I, yeah. But the thing is, I can stay up late. Ah,、oh, okay. Not at all. Not now.、Uh-huh. When I was a student, maybe. Ah,、uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Like for example, me. I、mm-hmm. think I'm also、um, a morning person as well. Yeah. So I might not be able to wake up at six thirty in the morning, <laughs> but then I don't mind waking up in the morning to do more things. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, in English, we say if you. Are a person that's okay with waking up in the morning. We can say you're a morning person,、mm-hmm. or we can say you're an early riser. Okay. So, for example, <laughs> Sam, you wake up at six a.m. every day, six thirty. Yes. yes. You are counted as an early riser. Okay. All right. Now, if you're the opposite. And you don't like waking up in the mornings, and you、um, like to stay up late at night. We、yes. call you a night person, or another word is a night owl. Okay, sounds so, like a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we used to be night owls, but not anymore. We're now、um, early risers. <laughs> All right. So let's take a quick break, and we can take a look at our single sentences and learn how to translate them together. Okay, this is part A, where we'll take a look at a single sentence.、Um, what we can do is we can read the Chinese first, and then we can take a look at the English together. 好的，马上看一下 Part A 的句子哦。这边我们要翻译的句子是：如果你早上略过早餐，这不仅会使你饥饿，而且还会影响你的心情。嗯、mm, ，Okay, so in English it says, if you skip breakfast in the morning, it can not only make you hungry but also affect your mood.、Mm-hmm. Does this happen to you if you don't eat breakfast? You You、yes. get kind of angry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you see just how important breakfast is. Now, here we can take a look at our grammar point. So it says, "If you skip breakfast in the morning," the "if" here is to talk about something that might happen when you do A or B. So、um, "if" can go in the beginning of the sentence. So, for example, "if" plus your first sentence,、um, then B will happen. And then after that, you add can. You can add will, shall, or may. So if A, which is your first sentence, comma, then B will happen. We can also put if in the middle of the sentence as well. Yes. Okay. 好的，我们这边呢看到如果的这个用法。如果呢，我们英文说 if if 这个用法呢非常特别哦，就是呢 if A 发生这件事情了，后面 B 就会发生了。所以呢，我们注意到呢，就是呃 B 我们在这边是使用 can、will 或 shall 或 may 或这些助动词来修饰。那前面 if 的子句呢，则是表示和现在事实一个假设语气的说法。那呢，刚刚 Tiffany 已经解释到了这个呃 if 放在句首的说法。那同时呢，我们也可以把 if 放在句子中间来使用哦。我们举个例子看一下 ，Emily will forgive you. Emily 呢，她会原谅你。If you if you apologize to her in a sincere manner， 如果呢你真诚的、诚挚的向她道歉，那么她会原谅你。那这个句子呢，我们也可以像刚刚一样把 if 放在前面。If you apologize to her， Emily will forgive you。这样子呢，也是可以的用法喽。Mm-hmm, that's right. So this sentence is saying, if we do skip breakfast, if we don't have time to not eat breakfast, then some things can happen to our bodies. So it says it can not only make you hungry but also affect your mood. So I definitely agree. I usually have a shorter patience when I'm hungry. What about you? <laughs> I think it's the same for everyone. <laughs> yeah,、um, I actually get hangry. Do you know what hangry? Hangry? Yes, hangry is a combination of hungry plus angry. So hangry. <laughs> so I get a little bit hungry and then I get a little bit angry. Well, I get angry because I'm hungry, so I become hangry. Okay. If I don't eat, sounds really bad. <laughs> I know it's horrible.、Okay. <laughs> I need to eat. <laughs> okay, so in our sentence, we're saying that if you skip breakfast, it not only makes you hungry but also affects your mood. 
会影响你的心情哦。所以就像刚刚 Tiffany 说的，你会变得怎么样 ？Hungry， 就是呢，你又饿又生气 ，Hungry and angry。那在这边呢，我们说不仅怎样，而且怎样呢？我们在这边使用的这个对等连接词 ，not only A but also B。OK， 它呢就是表示不仅 A。而且 B 哦，那注意到呢，我们所连接的 A 跟 B 呢，这两个呢必须是同一个词性，或者是呢两个结构相对的片语或是句子咯。比方说，我们这边句子 ，Not only make you hungry, but also affect your mood. Make you hungry 跟 affect your mood 这两个呢都是一样的句型咯。所以，我们注意到 A 跟 B 呢必须是对等的，他们两个必须是一样的用法咯。那呢，我们在这边使用这个不仅怎样，而且怎样，我们在语义上面是强调 be 的位置，强调而且后面这件事情。所以呢，我们这边动词变化呢就会以 be 而定了。OK， 所以呢，我们举个例子了。Not only did Harry miss the school bus, but he also got soaked as he walked to school in the rain. OK， 哈利呢不仅错过校车了，而且呢他走路去学校的时候，在雨中淋得全身湿透。OK， 在这边呢，我们不只是刚刚使用了这个不仅而且怎么样的用。法呢，在这边我们还使用了倒装句型的用法喽。注意到，因为我们把 not only 提到了句首 ，OK， 所以呢，我们在这边呢必须把这个呃主词跟助动词或者主词跟 be 动词的位置交换。比方说，我们刚刚例句 ，Not only did Harry OK miss the school bus, but he also got soaked as he walked to school in the rain. OK, not only but also 就是这样的用法。嗯、mm, ，Poor Harry <laughs> having the worst day ever. All right, so yes, um, I do agree. If you don't eat something or if you do skip breakfast, I really think it can affect your mood. It's 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 a bad start to the day.、Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look at our next sentence. It says, 好了，看一下我们下一个句子了。根据一项研究呢，有吃早餐的人呢，往往比那些没吃早餐的人有更更好的心情。Oh, okay.、So、Says according to one study, people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood than those who don't. Okay, maybe because、um, there's people like me who get hungry, who get angry when they're hungry. So <laughs> yes. yes, I do think that filling up your stomach in the morning or having a good breakfast can really affect your mood. All right, so let's take a look at our grammar point. It says according to one study. Now, according to Um, in writing, it means to talk about information that we found in our research. So、um, instead of using according to, you can also use things like based upon, and then you can have your sentence. So the research or the information that you found. Okay. Okay. So, in this case, we say according to one study. What study? We can use according to this phrase. Another phrase, we can use the verb form. For example, we can use one study shows that people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood. Okay. So, one study shows that people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood. Okay. So, one study shows that people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood. Okay. So, one study shows that people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood. Okay. So, one study shows that people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood. Okay. So, one study shows that people 什么是形容词子句呢？就是呢，我们是是以这个先行词 those 再搭配关系代名词 who。OK， those who 这个呢就表示什么样。的人，所以呢，我们叫做形容词子句，因为是形容什么样的人呢、哦、？OK， 我们呢也可以讲说 people who。OK， 所以 those who people who。那呢，我们呢在这个时候呢，因为我们是使用 people 或是 those 是很多人那些人，所以呢，我们要搭配的是复数动词了。我们举个例子哦 ，those who enjoy action movies will definitely want to check out the new Bond film。喜欢看动作片的人呢，一定会想看看新的这个零零七庞德的电影。OK， 那呢，我们也可以呢。呃，使用另外一种用法，我们叫做 anyone who 或是 whoever， 就表示呢任何什么样的人呢、哦？注意到，因为呢我们是使用 anyone， 所以呢这个时候我们是搭配的是单数动词。嗯哼 ，All right, so, um, yeah, you have breakfast every single day, right? Yes. Okay. I have to. <laughs> What do you do? You get the same things for breakfast, or you change it up a little bit? Um, I think normally I have the same thing.、Mm -hmm. It's like tempin. Oh, that's <laughs>、yeah. always delicious. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes I change. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so what will happen if you really cannot eat breakfast that day? Okay, I will probably take the day off. <laughs> <laughs> so serious? Yes, <laughs> I、yeah. have to have breakfast. Exactly. So it's very important that you have a good start to the day. Eat your breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. All right. So let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with part B.
Okay, let's take a look at part B. It's also single sentences. So what we can do is we again we'll take a look at the Chinese and then the English、um, translations. Okay, 好的，我们马上看到 Part B 的句子了。他说呢，沙乌伊沙乌地阿拉伯呢是世界上唯一一个女性不被允许驾驶的国家。<gasps> Okay. Well, in English, it says Saudi Arabia <laughs> is the only country in the world、mm-hmm. where women are not allowed to drive. Okay, let's first take a look at some of our grammar points here. Okay, so in this sentence, we use a verb, which is a relationship verb. That can be translated as a verb plus a relationship noun. What does this mean? Actually, it means that we just talked about the fact that Saudi Arabia is the only country in the world where women are not allowed to drive. So, the only place in the world where women are not allowed to drive is the only country in the world. Because this is already a complete sentence, so we use the verb plus a relationship noun. Where, 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 再接上我们后面讲说是女性不被允许驾驶的国家，那这个 where 呢，就是我们这边讲到的关系副词了。其实呢，你可以把它代换成 in which。OK， 这边这个 which 呢，它代换的就是 the only country。它呢是一个国家，是一个什么样的国家？我们后面句子就可以讲。但是呢，因为在这个国家里面，我们说 in the country， 所以呢，我们前面加上 in in which。OK， 那 in which 呢，我们就可以代换成 where。OK， 这个呢就是关系副词的用法。Mm-hmm. Now, how do we use allow to? Allow just means you let somebody, you can let someone do something. So we can say you can allow somebody to do something, or you can permit somebody to do something. So it's very easy. You allow somebody to, and then plus a verb. So, for example, if we use allow, we can say. Adrian's parents allow him to stay up late on Friday and Saturday nights.、Mm-hmm. So it means that his parents let him. He is. He can do this. He can stay up late on Friday and Saturday nights. We can also use permit. Okay, P E R M I T. Permit. When you permit somebody to do something, we can use it in a sentence like this. Cinderella's wicked stepmother would not permit her to go to Prince Charming's ball. Okay, so of course we can also change this to a negative sentence. So she was not allowed to. Her grand or、uh, her stepmother didn't want her to go to the ball. So we could say would not permit her to go to Prince Charming's ball. OK， 所以呢，在这我们第二个文法，我们看到说这个允许哦，所以呢，允许我们可以用 allow somebody to do something， 那呢一样你可以代换成 permit， 允许别人去做什么事情，后面是 to 加上原形动词。好，那我们看到第二个句子了，他说呢，然而政府已经宣布今年六月将解除对女性驾驶的禁令，这对女性驾驶来说很重要，因为他们终于将能不用冒着被逮捕或是罚款的风险去驾驶了。嗯哼 ，All right， so in English it says however the go- Government has announced that it will lift the ban on female drivers this June.、Mm-hmm. This is important for female drivers because they will finally be able to drive without risking being arrested or fined. Okay, so like we mentioned,、um, Saudi Arabia announced that it is going to let women drive. They changed the law, and this will happen in June. This will come into effect this year in June. So when you lift the ban. It means to let go or to cancel or take away a ban. Okay, ban is like when you're banned from doing something. It means you're not allowed to do it. Okay, so they're going to lift the ban, meaning they're going to cancel this kind of law or this、um, rule. So you can. How do we use this? We can say we can lift the ban on something. For example, the local meat industry protested the decision to lift the ban on foreign beef imports. So that means. Be from outside of this country can come into here now because they canceled the ban. They canceled the rule to say you're not allowed to have foreign beef. Okay,、um, on the opposite as well. Okay, lift the ban means to cancel. When you put a ban on something, it means that you don't want people to do these things anymore. So you can. Put a ban on something. You could place a ban on something, or you can impose. I M P O S E. Impose a ban on something. Okay.、Um, there's also other words to use as well. You can use prohibit or、um, forbid. Thing it means you stop people from doing a specific thing. So, for example, Uber was banned from operating in London. Okay, this happened in Taipei for a short time as well. We can also say in 2017, China imposed a ban on importing coal and other products from North Korea. OK， 所以呢，我们这边说呢，这个取消了这个政策哦，所以我们说 lift the ban on something。ban 呢，就是表示禁令的意思、哦。那相反呢，如果你设下这个禁令，那就是 
put a ban on something。那呢，后面我们看到了呢，自从这个政策呢被取消之后，这个禁令被取消之后呢，这个女性驾驶呢，终于不用再冒着这个被逮捕或是罚款的风险来驾驶了。所以呢，冒着什么样的风险呢？我们可以用 risk 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 呢这个字，我们后面加上名词。表示呢，冒着什么样的风险，或者是呢，我们可以加上一个动名词哦，表示冒风险、冒险来做这个动作了。OK， 我们举个例子了。If you invest all your money in the stock market， 如果呢，你把你所有的钱都投入股票市场 ，you risk losing everything， 你会冒着呢失去所有钱、失去所有东西的风险呢。Risk losing。OK， 我们后面呢加上动名词 ving。那另外呢 ，risk 我们也可以呢当做名词来使用呢，它就表示了风险或是冒险的意思。那常见的用法呢，我们可以说 take the risk。Of something, OK， 一样的意思，跟刚刚我们说 risk doing something 一样，就是冒着什么样的风险，或者是呢，我们可以说 put somebody or something at risk， 就是呢，使什么人陷入风险，或是使什么东西陷入风险之中。Mm、hmm. All right. So I think that's great. Well done to Saudi Arabia. It's great that a country like that is moving forward one step at a time because、um, Saudi Arabia is still a country where、um, they don't really have a lot of women's rights.、Yes. So it's good to see that they are now, you know, moving forward to making equal rights for both men and women as well. Yeah, that's very good. It's、mm. changing. <laughs> very good change. All right. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Part C. Okay, welcome to Part C. Our topic for today is Morgan's Inspiration Island. Have you heard about this place before? No, never. <laughs> It's yeah, an island. I don't know. It, when I first read the title, I kept thinking of like pirates. I don't know why.、Uh, okay. Because maybe、um, there was a pirate called Captain Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, kept yeah, thinking yeah. about like pirates and like maybe it's a pirate island, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, it's an amusement park. Ah,、uh, okay. That、mm. makes sense. <laughs>、uh, so amusement parks are places where you go to have fun, and you can go on different rides,、um, different roller coasters, and. Amusement parks are places like Disneyland, Universal Studios,、mm -hmm. um, Six Flags.、Uh -huh. We have that in America. It's scary.、Um, these places are all called amusement parks. Okay, so in our side, we talk about the topic of Morgan's Inspiration Island. This place is actually not an island. It's actually an amusement park. It's 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 an amusement park. 飞车有很多游乐设施的地方，我们就叫做 amusement park。嗯，哦 ，but this one is a little bit special though. It's not like Disney or Universal Studios.、Mm -hmm. Um, this one is in San Antonio, Texas. Okay, it's different than other amusement parks as it was designed specifically for people with disabilities. Oh, that's actually very very nice because yeah, you know, there's lots of、mm. rules when you have to take a roller coaster. Yeah, And, exactly.、Uh, yeah, if you are on a wheelchair or you have Have、uh, like something,、mm -hmm. yeah. Some、It's、issues. It's not convenient. Yes, yes,、mm. yes. Because of course, roller coasters, we have to think about safety first,、mm -hmm. and、um, not all of them、uh, accommodate or are suited well suited for people who have disabilities. So、mm -hmm. it's actually even more dangerous if they go on the rides. Yes. So yeah, it's not really fun if like if I were a kid and maybe I had. A disability. I want to go to Disneyland, but then <laughs> maybe I can't go on a lot of the rides. I will feel really sad.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of amusement parks are not really friendly for people with disabilities. So again, they can't really enjoy the rides as much as we can. Yeah, but、uh, how do they make the parks friendly for people with disabilities? Oh, okay. Well. On this island, or on, well, not this island. Well, at this amusement park, <laughs>、okay. um, they design the rides to be wheelchair accessible. Oh, okay. So that means that maybe the wheelchairs、um, can. Can go on the rides like it fits the seats or it fits the rides, and、um, it includes things like the Ferris wheel and the mini trains because、oh, okay. you know when we go on the Ferris wheels, it's quite small,、yes. so maybe the wheelchair can't fit in. And、uh, at this amusement park, they designed so you can. 
put wheelchairs inside, ah, okay. or you can, you know, let people use this、um, according to what they need. Okay, so 呢，今天我们主题哦，这个讲到摩根先进这个游乐园呢，它非常特别哦，因为它特别的地方呢，它是为了这个这个残障人士哦，特别设计的。一个呃游乐园，所以呢，它很多地方呢都是这个 wheelchair accessible， 就是呢，你搭轮椅呢也是可以上去的、哦。比方说呢，像是这个 Ferris 火摩天轮呐、啊，或者这些小火车等等这些游乐设施呢，你搭着轮椅呢，你也是都可以玩的。那在这边我们看到这个要翻译的句子了，他说呢。呃，除了摩根仙境哦，也就是呢 The Wonderland 之外呢，还有这个摩根灵感岛 Morgan's Inspiration Island， 这是一座使游客能在炎热夏季月份里玩水的水上乐园。嗯、mm, ，Okay, that's fun. So it says in, in addition to the Wonderland, which is a normal amusement park, there's also Morgan's Inspiration Island, a water park. Ooh, that's really fun.、Mm -hmm. That lets visitors play in water during the hot summer months. Okay, so in addition to, okay. Now you can also try besides besides the Wonderland or aside from the Wonderland. Apart from the Wonderland, there's Morgan's Inspiration Island. Okay, so apart from the regular amusement park, there's a water park as well. Okay, so we, 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 Get 这些动词，他们就是有使人怎么样，或是让人怎么样的这个用法了。它的用法呢，分为两种哦。首先是这个使受词哦，也就是呢，使人主动来做动作。我们呢，就是在后面呢，在这个，比方说我们说 that make 或是 have 后面加上受词，再加上原形动词。那 get 的话呢，我们后面则是加上 to， 再加上原形动词。举个例子喽。Okay, the mother doesn't let her children play video games on the family computer. She only lets them use it for homework. Okay, 这个妈妈呢，她不让这个孩子们呢，在这个家里的电脑上面玩。电动游戏 ，OK， let her children play. OK， 让他的小孩玩。OK， 我们这个就是主动做动作的用法。那另外呢，还可以被动的接受动作。我们呢，可以直接 that 加上受词，再加上 be 动词，加上 PP， 就是这个呃过去分词表示被动的用法。或者是呢，我们也可以说 make have get 受词呢后面再加上过去分词。OK， 被动的接受动作，我们呢就可以使用这样子的用法。So what's great for the park is that it's free for people who have a disability,、mm -hmm. and this great idea came from Gordon Hartman, and he designed this because his daughter was called Morgan, and she also had a disability as well. Okay, it's very nice to have a very rich dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So his daughter Morgan, he she actually suffers from physical and mental disability.、Okay. So that means maybe it's not really easy for her to walk around, and also mentally as well.、Um, Uh, she also has some disabilities in her brain as well, so it was very hard finding an amusement park for her、mm -hmm. to go play in. So, what do you do when you can't find something suitable for you? Well, you can be like Mr. <laughs> Hartman. You could just build one. Yes. Okay. So, 呢，我们呢看到了后面这个要翻译的句子哦。我们呢刚刚说，因为呢他的女儿摩根呢这个呃身心呢都有受到这个障碍，所以呢我们他呢就建造了这个摩根仙境和灵感岛，让他女儿可以玩哦。所以呢，我们这边要翻译的句子，他就说建。造摩根仙境和灵感岛呢，花费了五千一百万美元，但是呢，戈登知道这一切都是值得的。嗯、mm, ，It cost fifty one million U.S. dollars to build Morgan's Wonderland and Inspiration Island, but Gordon knows it was all worth it. So, um, when something costs something, it just talks about the price of something, how much you spent doing it or buying it. So, um, you can say it cost me money, okay, or you can also say it takes time. Okay, it's all about spending or doing something like money or time. So, for example, we can say the new MRT line to Taoyuan Airport cost the government over two billion NT dollars to construct. If we want to use time as well, we can say it takes time to build a new MRT line.、Mm -hmm. Right? We need to spend some time doing it. Okay,、um, so you can also say spend as well. So somebody can spend money, or somebody can spend time on something or on doing something. For example, we can say Dolly spent several hours, okay, time working on her research project last night. 
。OK， 所以呢，我们刚刚讲说花费的这个用法，我们可以用 cost 或是 take， 通常呢就是花时间或是金钱了。那注意到呢，这边的用法，主词呢会是这个花钱的东西哦。这个东西呢 ，cost 你 cost 的人多少钱？那呢另外你可以交换，就变成使用 spend， 就是花费了。比方说呢，谁花了钱做什么事情？我们后面呢注意到它的用法很特别，是 on something， spend money on something， 或是呢 spend time。Doing something, 我们呢可以加上动名词。那那后面呢？我们说戈登知道这一切都是值得的，值得的呢？我们在这边使用 worth worth 这个字呢，它可以当做形容词来使用，它就表示值得来做什么事情。用法呢？我们就是 be worth 后面加上这个值得什么东西哦。比方说，我们举个例子哦 ，This book is definitely worth reading。这本书呢非常值得读，绝对值得一读。I'll lend it to you as soon as I finish. OK， 我一看完呢就会马上把它借给你了。OK， 所以呢。Is worth reading, 值得读。OK， 这个是呢 ，worth 当做形容词的用法。那呢，我们也可以呢，值多少钱，或是呢，有什么样的价值呢？那后面呢，我们就是加上名词了 ，be worth 什么东西啊、哦？常见的用法，我们说 be worth it， 就是说呢，是值得的，或是呢，我们会说 be worth one's while， 值得某人来花他的力气来做这件事情。All right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Unit Nine Translation, February Sixteenth. If you skip breakfast in the morning, it can not only make you hungry but also affect your mood. According to one study, people who have breakfast tend to be in a better mood than those who don't. Saudi Arabia is the only country in the world where women are not allowed to drive. However. The government has announced that it will lift the ban on female drivers this June. This is important for female drivers because they will finally be able to drive without risking being arrested or fined. Morgan's Wonderland is an amusement park in San Antonio, Texas, U.S. It's unlike any other amusement park in the world, as it was designed specifically. For people with disabilities, all of the rides and attractions are designed to be wheelchair accessible, including the Ferris wheel and the miniature train. In addition to the Wonderland, there's also Morgan's Inspiration Island, a water park that lets visitors play in water during the hot summer months. The park grants anyone with a disability free entry. The whole complex was the creation of Gordon Hartman, who built the park for his daughter Morgan. Morgan suffers from both physical and mental disabilities, and the Hartmans struggle to find amusement parks and other places where she could feel comfortable and interact with others. Since there didn't seem to be one anywhere, Gordon built one himself. It cost fifty-one million U.S. dollars. To build Morgan's Wonderland and Inspiration Island, but Gordon knows it was all worth it. Parents of disabled children constantly tell him how much his work has meant to them. Gordon says he will happily work with other organizations who want to build similar parks elsewhere. And another great thing about Gordon is that he's also willing to work with other groups of people who want to build similar parks. So eventually, in the future, maybe we will see more and more of these places for、um, people with disabilities. Yeah, it's very nice that、mm. he's willing to share his、that's、experience、right. and everything.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all the time that we have for today. We hope you guys enjoyed our article and our translation sentences, our translation article. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye.